All right, I am extremely excited today because we got confirmation of the unit I probably wanted the most or close to the most since launch because she was the first unit that I ever summoned for with voice on my channel. And on in Black Clover Phantom Knights, she was someone I was very excited for, which if you've seen the title and thumbnail, obviously you've already seen who it is. So we have two new units. We got updated kit for Lumiere slightly and then we also have a new game mode that we're going to be covering in this video now the new units also have kits so we're going to go through this in order now there's new monsters okay i just want to say elf dorothy does look very good um it seems like a new alt art also so that's cool uh ghost has his elf um one and then yeah so there's no big bosses this time around i mean like dorothy's kind of cool but like last time for example we got awakened leaked uh and then this elf uh elf luck right um so i i don't know like this this was much cooler than a elf dorothy right that's for sure so now let's uh let's let's start getting into it so fuego these are his skins doesn't really matter too much and then raya is coming out on jp in the second half like i predicted which kind of means that global's getting no other unit this season besides fuego um so now we got wolf charmy which I, I, if it's not Dwarf Charmian game, that's going to be so sad. I just like the name Dwarf Charmian way more. So, yeah. But this is who we will be getting, guys, 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 guys. This is insanely cool, okay? And she's probably going to be a blue attacker or red attacker. I don't know which one she'd be. But, bro, a Dwarf Charmian. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Yeah. This ha has been one of my most anticipated units to come out in black clover mobile since launch and she's finally coming after a year and a half of jp right so i feel like she could either be part of anniversary or a bit after for me dwarf charmy is hype enough but i don't know about you guys let me know down below what you think of dwarf charmy but to me she is definitely definitely hype enough okay so i'm going to go through the icons later uh the skills later now we also have a luck who is planned to be a debuffer so Charmy and attacker makes sense, but luck a debuffer is pretty cool. So as for luck, it's not elf luck. As of right now, it's not elf luck. So what I could imagine, it's kind of this like this type of luck because I just don't see them doing a generic SSR. So to me, it's gonna have to be this type of luck. Now I, there's a there's a bit of a manga spoiler and is like in a more recent type of form, but I doubt they're gonna do that because it's manga content. Um, well, not a new form. Sorry, I should not phrase it that way, but it's like. Uh, something that could definitely be a new uh a new ssr for luck i could say uh but it's not a new form for luck so yeah there, there is that but um i i don't know like it isn't elf luck for now which makes this a bit weird right it does make it a bit weird um so you know it's a debuffer and then we have lumiere who is updated and then this i wanted to get through before the kits is a new challenger game mode called magic region um so i just want to check something real quick um i just want to see what does hold on this is just i have to i have to do this so also check this out because i'm not going to have something out before this but i just want to see if we like if i'm going to frame challenge right so it's gonna be okay okay hold on so when i check it out i just want to see it's gonna be like this so it's gonna be an actual like new like permanent game mode okay because you could see it's the same like it has the same like a spiky thing upwards for the design right so it's going to be a new game mode and not a new limited time challenge all right it's going to be permanent content and this is going to be called magic region and there's three different backgrounds which i'm pretty sure we've talked about this before where before it was called mana zone right um or something like that hold on um let me let me try to find this it, it goes back to like season one and two also do check out the showcase please um this goes back to like over a year ago, right? So I need to go to at least one year ago, which is insane because I upload way too much for my own good. Um, so we could kind of see how much I upload. But um, if we go to uh, over a year ago, we're going to be able to see it, I think. So it should be a bit before Julius where, okay, wait, but I feel like I should have over a year, right? Because it's the game has been out for, okay, this is this is global. This is global's launch. Okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Um, so let me let me let me skip. All right. So if it's anywhere, it should be in here. Um, if not, I 
I think I could find it. It's just guys like, oh my god. There's two more. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Sorry, here it is. Um, this is a video I should save because there was some pretty interesting stuff in it. So when Vanilla used to leak, right? We had something called... Hold on. I, I swear. Like, where... Yes, Mana Fountain. So this is it. So basically, you use uh, items to get mana. Depending on the item, it gives you more or less mana. And you have a limited amount of items you can use uh, to get mana. So it's it's a Mana Fountain type of game mode or like, uh, I don't know what else you would call it. But this really does seem similar. And um, so you're going to be... Okay, so let's see. So you're going to be fighting bosses. And then at a certain region, they're going to be buffed. And then at a certain region, it seems that they're going to be debuffed is how it's kind of framed. And considering that they got things like this, it does seem like it is pretty much guaranteed to come. If this comes for anniversary, that's insane. But I don't think it will. Because we're going to have raid already for anniversary. Okay. And then I feel like this is going to be something more so in December, January. But does it really matter? No, because we're already getting so much, right? And is that an overstatement? No, because we're literally like... For JP, we just got Tower Expansion, and then we got um, the Frame Challenge, and then we're going to be getting the Raid next month, and maybe something else <laughs> besides, sorry for the sniff, besides this. But, like, new content, and then all these new items, right? Um, so that's cool. It does seem like it is very similar to Mana Fountain, or, like, the successor to it. And then we got a bunch more and a bunch more. So we don't know if this is gear or not, but it doesn't seem to be. But this is pretty cool. I mean, they, they look fire. And then new material from the challenge to power up our unity even more. It really does seem like the successor to Mana Fountain. Um, this is cool. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be a very interesting thing. Okay, very, very interesting. Um, we'll have to see what it entails. But to me, I think this could be something very cool if they bring it out right after anniversary. Okay, like very cool. Now we have the kits. So I just want to see what was changed from Lumiere. So we're going to open these over here because I just want to see what was changed necessarily. Um, so Lumiere. All right. So then uh, now we got crit check. Basically, we had the barrier. We had to receive damage down. Um, but now we also got some crit check. So I don't know what this is going to be, but we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, it has something to do with crit, either that he has to have a certain amount or that like... I don't know even. I really don't. That's the only thing added. So just just know that he's going to be revolving around crit probably. So if you want to like start building your set, go ahead now. We're not going to get leaks for the next month. His kit should be revealed on the 26th of November and he comes out the 28th of November. Um, but that's basically going to be it for that. Um, we'll have to see what exactly this is for Lumiere. But crit check. You guys put your thoughts down below for that. I just wanted to kind of show Lumiere's updated kit. And now we could kind of get into the juicy part. Charmy, what does she do? So, um, it's a bit... Let me open up in here. So, um, this is going to have... She's got damage reduction in her uh, Grimoire passive, which is interesting. Now, obviously, these kits are set to change, obviously. But just, you know, we could obviously still talk about them. Now, she's an attacker, which is going to be pretty good, considering that if Luck comes out as a debuffer, that, that's fine. Um, but then we see that she has a double heal, okay? So she gets it once at her dupe and twice. So I don't know if it's because they duplicated it, if the files were duplicated, right? That's a possibility. But we could just also assume that, um, well, it, it's because there's double heals, right? Then there's also double damage reduction, so we don't know how this is working. It does seem like it might be, be duplicated. So there is one damage reduction, one heal. Uh, the heal is okay, it's just we're going to have to see actual stuff. Now, no, sorry, not damage reduction, damage up. So damage up is fine. It's just how is it really going to help us, right? So we could see, okay, yeah, so 40101, 40101, it seems like it's the exact same. Because, um, for example, for Lumiere, um, we could, oh, uh, it didn't open up in the right, it didn't open up in the right one. Um, okay, well, uh, hold on. How would I get it over? How do I? Okay. Anyway, so we could see that there's like a barrier, there's crit check, and it's like the same thing, right? So I think it has to have a different uh, like number for it to be different. So I think it really is only one heal, one damage increase. So damage increase we take. Heal, I'm not sure about it. It works on Fuego, but we're going to have to see what exactly this heal entails. I would rather her be more tanky than her be like healing all the time. I don't know. If you don't have immortality, healing isn't really that crazy, I'd say, right? Um, we'll, we'll have to see, but Charmy, I feel like they're going to make her pretty good. Now, she's going to be a colored attacker. I could see her being red or blue. 
I don't see green. They're not touching green for a while. So that's charming. She's got damage reduction. Um, she's got... Uh, oh, she also has barriers. Sorry. God. She also has barriers. So, yeah. She's going to be... I feel like we're entering a barrier meta. Which is a bit interesting. Right? Lumiere barrier, Sekere barrier, uh, Charmy barrier. We'll have to see what, what that's all about. Right? We have to see what Sekere is actually going to be doing. But I feel like Sekere is going to be pretty much a must-have support if we're considering all this stuff. Um, and now luck, okay, so he, all right, all right, all right, um, all right, so he has SP up on his pa Grimoire passive and do passive, so this guy's gonna be spamming, now, I don't know if it really does mean, um, that we're getting 5 SP, right, because it says 5 here, and I don't know if those numbers matter, I really doubt it, okay, I really do, but we'll have to see, so he's gonna get SP, now, why is it here twice? Probably for max and zero. So, like, zero dupes, we get SP, but then max dupe, we get more SP, essentially, is how I'm going to guess it works, okay? Um, but he also gets it for dupe, which to me means he's going to be ulting, like, all the time, but also very good for combos, for sure. Um, and then his unique passive gives probably electric one and electric two. So, this is just to show the asset, but it's probably going to put two um, shocks, which, remember, this is insane, because at three shocks, you apply SP minus eight. So having this is actually going to be really good. If it's AOE shock times two at the beginning of the battle, you have another shock and then they all lose their alt, right? If they don't use it right away, they lose their alt, which is actually going to be really crazy because that means combo and alt all gone SP minus eight. This is going to be really good. And if he's blue, then it's going to work very well with the rest of them. So we'll have to see how this works. But he, I think, is... Oh, that's Photoshop. He's going to be very, very, very interesting. So those are the three kits and the new game mode. So now if we add it, if we go, just check here, um, we technically have what? So we have Daily Boss, Tower, Frame Challenge, New Octopus Raid, New World Boss Raid, and then New Mana... Or what's it called? Magic Region. So we got actually like two, three, four. We have confirmed six game modes coming. Or six like either new pieces of content, I guess. Right? That's insane. That is insane. I'm all for it, guys. This is absolutely a crazy time for Black Clover now with all the new game modes. I'm all for it. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you guys are excited for everything as I am. I think this is really cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think of all this. Bye-bye.